numerous top eights oh, yeah. during the Street Fighter 4 period, and they have just been given the go to play. And you can see them both sitting there concentrating, but here they go. It is probably going to be Nash versus Nikali. Yeah, that's what you would expect out of these two, although we know that Infiltration, he's, he's been talking about his pocket characters, has played one a bit, but I don't expect him to start out with one right away. The handshake. Yeah. And it looks like we're going to be yeah. into it so soon. So we definitely, once again, we started with so many countries represented here in this tournament. And it has always been a very international game. And we're starting here right now with Korea versus Taiwan. Yeah, that's going to be it. Razor Infiltration on the left with Nash. Gamer B on the right with Nikali, as we mentioned. It's going to be a zoner versus the character who wants to get in there. And check out... The background. Check out this stage. Have you guys seen this yet? <laughs> Check this out. Here we go. Let's go. Evo in the background. And top eight qualifying match. Garamby already trying to, to move forward and get some of the space down. He hasn't busted out the B skill yet, but Infiltration Nash is so mobile. It's really tough to get him down with stuff like that. What a whiff punish. Oh wow, and that knee, he, Infiltration uses that as an anti-air better than anyone else. He uses it at the range where it's deceptive. It looks like he can't hit you, so you don't hit a jump attack. Right, and, and almost, he has no other anti-air option at that range. And that forward light kick, the knee that you just saw, is such an excellent tool to do it. You see that, that you know, as Nash, you don't want to throw fireballs before he V-skills. You want to wait until after he does that little size mo and then bring out the fireball after it. And that's what Infiltration's been doing. Whoa, oh, wow, comboed off into the Sonic side. Oh, opportunity for Gamer B, but didn't quite confirm into the ground. Yeah, he did that low medium kick a bit late. Oh, punish. that should be punishable, yeah. Yeah, and there it is. He gets the media attempt. He has trigger popped. Oh, he oh, chases it down, but nice throw tech. But they're again a chase down. But unfortunately, he spent a lot of meter so far, so he doesn't have anything for the super. And just the jump in from Infiltration, that jumping roundhouse from Nash. That was one of the rare times Gamer Beat doesn't get an anti air uppercut. Yeah. I feel like he has some of the most consistent anti airs out of any top player. Yeah, Gamer B has always had some of the strongest reactions out of anybody that we've seen during the Street Fighter 4 era. He continues it here. Both of them sitting on full bar. Both of them very dangerous. Crush, oh, the crush. Yeah, I love that. Confirm the meaty double whiff short into the standing light thing. All right, he's out of there and back in for pressure. Infiltration trying to, uh, you know, regain some of this life that he's lost already. Very important, though, that he's gotten out of that corner. Gamer B, though, probably not going to be bashful about spending that meter to finish this round off if he can get the hit. Yeah, he's got a big lead, but he's got to find a way to close it out. Infiltration Nash, so slippery, so tough to deal with. I love that he's preemptively sticking out buttons, this Gamer B. He's sticking them out at a range where they're not going to hit unless that just that happens. Yeah. Infiltration moves forward. Oh, wow. Roundhouse versus Roundhouse once yeah. again. Air okay. to air is good. Man, I love the way Infiltration slowed this neutral down quite a bit. There's the oh, anti air yep. that we missed okay. the first game, first round. And he spends the meter on that. He's going to go into VG. Great block on the overhead, but too far. Otherwise, that might have been Sand Jab into Sonic Sight yeah, into maybe got Super. It. Yeah. Ooh. He's not far off of this comeback. There could be one mistake for Gamer Bean. He might be out of this so quickly. There's the dash up from Infiltration. Yeah. You can't jump. If you jump that fireball and he gets the raw critical art, it's going to be done. Yeah, so Gamer Bean probably just going to sit here trying to play patient. You see how he's not trying to go in. If he dashes and hits a sight through that B skill. Oh, Ooh. man. Oh, he didn't get it. But oh, he, he got, got the it. airborne hit. Yes, hit out of the air. Otherwise, that would have been game one Infiltration. And you know, that's one of the fortunate things of having an overhead that jumps in the air. If that was Ryu or somebody else, that they just would have gotten hit on the ground and that would have been it. We were talking about Infiltration putting a game on the board, but instead the last round. And the nice thing about that is Gamer B did that without spending all of his bar, so he's sitting on this, but Infiltration also with a lot of meter, so yeah. very close in resources. And critical R from Nikali just means, that, oh, that was a sick whip punishment. <laughs> it just means that any of these stomps, any of these confirms become so much more deadly from right. Nikali. That's really what you can expect. Yeah, I love the size most spacing. He doesn't bring it out so often that Infiltration knows. Oh, there, here we go into the super. Yeah, get, he just got the super. So he's going to do a lot of damage, but he has a big life lead. But again, Gamer B sitting on that full V trigger, sitting on full super meter. Got him. Ooh. Not quite enough. Yeah, he's got full gauge, you can see at the bottom right. He's going to bring it out overhead, just out of range. Look at that low four, just threatening all day. Oh, oh he had the jump. prediction on the jump. OK, he's going to pop the trigger. Does he spend critical art? No. No, he's going to save it. There's the regular throw. He needs a few so more. One more oh, he gets it. out, but does it does kill? He doesn't kill. Combo. He, he could have done jab in a side. Right. Great blocks oh, and he challenged. Oh, an uppercut. Wow, Gamer B just throwing it all out there with that uppercut. He was 
a huge risk. He's got the trigger. You can see the medium punch is buffered. Every time it's buffered into the dash, just in case infiltration moves in. Yeah, the problem with it is right now is that Gamer B has no meter for that super, so he's going to need at least maybe one or two mix-ups. And there's only 12 seconds left on the clock. There's, there's, there's got to be a dash in. You've got to expect a dash in from Gamer B at this point. He's got to find his way in. The short time. What can he do but oh, the air to beautiful. air? Beautiful, yeah. Infiltration knew he was going to jump. At, he had to jump he had to. at some point. At yeah, some man, point, and Infiltration weird. had that all ready to go with the air to air. Impeccable defense. It's for him to stay solid under pressure, to get into EVO top eight and just hang out and wait. And as soon as there is the jump, <laughs> boom, has the answer. Man, how many times? I mean, like, this That takes the incredible clutch. Yeah, and, and look at these two players. I mean, we have seen these two up on this EVO stage so many times. Round one. Here it is, back Fight. into it. First game infiltration. So close to closing it out in that second round, and it, it went down to the last one. He, he stayed solid, and we got to see if Garen B can bring it back. Certainly not unfamiliar with this kind of, uh, you know, match, this caliber overhead. Whoa, oh, what a bait. And that, look at that damage right there. Already Usually. down half life. And once again, infiltration going back to you know, that, th this movement that he's had. Gamer B's trying to track him down with those size modes, and he cannot lock him down. He can get the pressure. Yeah, he walks up for it. It's just the movement is so unpredictable, and also he rarely takes a big risk with it. It's like forward dash, back dash, forward dash. It's never in, in a bad spot for himself, okay? Ooh, but a little too far, and both of them unable to punish the low roundhouses, and Gamer B just goes in. Oh, be reversal on the stomp just to get away. And now infiltration, lots of space to work with. All right, finally got one of those size modes to connect. And you see him not throwing that many booms. It's, it's very rare that he actually throws one. He just kind of hangs out, whiffs a lot of buttons, and wants to occupy space without risking anything. Big oh, jump. But it was too far for that stomp. Yeah, he should have confirmed into the charge instead. Great block. And a challenge again what? from Gamer B. <gasps> Stop. Wake up buttons. Wake up He's buttons dead. from Gamer B. I'm sorry, from Infiltration. And that's going to stop Gamer B's offense. Remember, he this dashed is up and went for command throw. Yeah. So now, Infiltration match point to make it into EVO top eight. Stomp confirmed from Gamer B, trying to keep up the offense. And just the dash up from Infiltration into the throw. One of the few times he's even done Moonsault, too. Great space for himself. God, look at this pressure right now in the corner. Gamer B trying to figure out how to get out of this situation. All right, gets the, gets the ground pound. So now, builds himself a little bit of space. But wow, perfect distancing on that knee. It's a combo into the Sand Light Punch. Just hanging out at such an amazing range. The dashing is good. Infiltration keeping up the pressure. And Gamer B is really on the back foot. He hasn't done anything offensive this round. There's the uppercut, and now there's the big chance. B gauge. Stopped. Pops it. Oh, oh. he missed time the throw. Now so much room for infiltration to get away, but he goes in and confirm. Infiltration, first player. Top eight winners here. How do you look? And is that any surprise right now? He has been playing so strong all year long. Infiltration has qualified to be in your top eight for 